Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Cancer. Uh, this is going to be for October 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. Messages from your guides and your angels and your ancestors. We're going to take a look and see what that is. And then we'll finish off this to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other, place, uh, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about cancer. Messages from cancer's guides, angels, and ancestors. What does cancer need to know from their guides and their angels and their ancestors for October 2023 for cancer tell me about cancer ten of cups eight of swords okay seems like there's a breakthrough here or that there's clarity when it comes to maybe a family situation that you're going through here um, if you're going through a rough time with your family, okay, I do feel like things are about to get better here or that th things are improving here, okay? Let's see what else we have here. We have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Uh, you know, I feel like your guides are asking you not to worry about your family situation or family dynamic here. Um, that's been kind of like worrisome here or that it's been very kind of like heavy or dark. I wouldn't say dark in particular, but maybe like when it comes to your family situation here, there's a lack of communication or that there's a lack of resolve here. And I feel like when that happens, you're being asked not to take that on. Yeah, you're being asked not to take that on, um, uh, Cancer. Uh, we have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and the Death card here. Mm. Seems like whatever is going on here with your family situation here, I do feel like it's leading to some sort of healing, some sort of transformation that you're going through. Uh, at breakthroughs here, you know, it's almost like like getting the answers that you're looking for, getting the answers that you've been seeking here, okay? Maybe you're realizing that there's a situation, you know, it might improve over time, but right now it's kind of like, you know what, I'm just not going to deal with this or take this on, like, as it was my problem, you know? Uh, tell me about the death card. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Temperance. And the Ten of Wands, yeah. Um, I feel like you might have been taking on other people's burdens, other people's problems here. I feel like you're being asked to protect yourself. You know, it's almost like taking on the world's problems. Taking on the world's suffering. And I feel like, Cancer, I feel like you can't bear to see suffering and I feel like you just take that on. Yeah, it's almost like a bit of a martyr energy here, you know? And I feel like this is like one of the biggest lessons that you have to learn in this lifetime is to not take on other people's problems. Eight of Swords. Ten of Swords. The Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands. I feel like the martyr thing has happened multiple lifetimes. Yeah. Being kind of like a savior for the people. Uh, some of you guys could have shared a past life with Jesus, Jesus Christ or something like that. Yeah. Uh, there's definitely some sort of connection there. You know, sacrificing oneself, you know, protecting people, being a martyr. Um, so let's see, tell me about the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, I really feel like this is the biggest lesson that you have to learn in this lifetime here, Cancer. Ten of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay. You know, there it, there could be some sort of, like, relationship or maybe there's, like, prosperity and happiness in your family situation or that they will be at some point here. But I do feel like there's a family dynamic situation that kind of triggered this, too. Yeah, that kind of triggered this. And I feel like you might have always felt, you know, responsible for other people or felt responsible for other people's feelings, felt responsible for other people's anger and stuff like that. 
Um, but I feel like, like I said, you're being asked not to take that on or, or that it's not your responsibility. What else do we have for cancer? What else does cancer need to know? Look out for work for October 2023 for cancer, for cancer, for cancer. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. Seven of Wands and the Strength card. You have to have boundaries here with people. Yeah, you got to put yourself first. Yeah, you have to love yourself first. Yeah, you have to take care of you. We have the Six of Pentacles here and the Lovers. Yeah, there's a lack of self-care here for yourself, Cancer. There's a lack of self-care here. Boundaries is so important physical boundaries with people energetic boundaries with people here there's a lack of boundaries it's almost like someone's uh, someone's uh, uh you know it's like you know someone here has like very leaky boundaries yeah someone here has very leaky boundaries so this is about putting your happiness first putting your own stability first you know not taking other people's problems tell me if that's four of wands four of wands the chariot cancer energy you know, it could also be a situation that, you you know, your family situation, like I said, maybe I, I think I mentioned this early on, that it could be like very unbalanced, very, you know, um, unhappy and there's a lot of issues and they feel like, you know, maybe you're taking on all those issues yourself, you know. So we have the Eight of Wands here and the Chariot, the Strength card, the Page of Pentacles, um, the World card and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's important for you to sort of like close out the cycle here and really switch that sort of like that mentality to that mindset here too. You know, it could there could also be um you know a, a new job offer that's coming in for you too. Yeah, that's gonna take you far away when it comes uh, when it comes to your work situation here. It's also a job um offer uh, or that it's a job promotion and a raise. The High Priestess and the Lovers here, the Six of Pentacles here, and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Also to trust your own intuition here too. Trust your own intuition. Use your discernment here. Um, because I just feel like you just absorb other people's energies like a sponge. Yeah, you definitely need to protect yourself here, Cancer. You definitely need to protect yourself and that mindset needs to, yeah, it's almost, I get the feeling like this is the biggest lesson that you have to learn in this lifetime here. And I feel like you have a hard time accepting that there's suffering in the world. Yeah, I feel like, you know, suffering, even though it's hard to watch, you know, there's, there's healing, there's lessons to learn from that. Yeah, there's lessons to learn from that. It's, it's kind of like, you know, it's unfair, but you know, like I said, you can't really take that on your on your own because it's not really yours to carry. But you know, I obviously have empathy in the, in those types of situations. You know, but you just can't take that on. Yeah. So, uh, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.